In this video, we will look at singles, pairs and symmetry and how these work with the bodybuilder. You'll notice when clicking through the different tabs that you have these options for add head, add pair, add jaw, add pair, add some number of eyes or pairs, same for legs, add leg or pair, and so on for all of these different part types. The bodybuilder allows you to add either singular parts or paired parts, and they add and work in a certain specific way. For instance, let's have a look at legs. I will add a leg, and what we get is just a singular leg item. Notice it is just the leg one. It has no side or anything else to it. Alternatively, we can add a pair. And what we get now are, of course, a pair of legs. And you see that we have a left side and a right side. Here, in fitting mode, you can see that they are symmetrized. You always operate on the left-hand side. And the right-hand side will follow along symmetrically, allowing you to lay out a symmetrical left-right character simply and easily. Very simple and straightforward. Notice here, of course, that I've been adding these as children of the main root, and they are, of course, symmetrized around it as such. And, of course, if we look at the scene editor, we can see that all three of those legs there, the leg one root item and the left and right leg ones root items, are, of course, children of the main root. Singles and pairs will also branch, however. And this depends upon whether they are added to a singular or a paired item. The main root, obviously, is just a singular item. There is only one main root to the character. So let's come over here where we've got a singular item, a single leg, and let us add to it, say, a pair of arms. I'll choose Add Pair, and I'm just going to select here the knee one, which is, of course, the singular knee one. I'll hit OK. And what we see that we get is, of course, a pair of arms. If I just look from the front view here, you see that these are symmetrically moving around the zero position here. However, if we go through into rig mode, here are our two arms, the left and right. You can see that both are, of course, children of this singular leg. This, for starters, might be an area where I want to parent the markers off differently. So with the rigging toolbox here, I'll take the left and right root markers for the arms there, store the assignee. I could parent them to the knee marker, but I'm actually just going to parent them under the main top root of the leg marker system there and hit parent. Now, of course, their setup positions symmetrize around the actual singular leg itself. I have, of course, only needed to do this because I've moved the leg off to the side there. Were the leg actually central in its default position in the rig, as of course it was generated, then I wouldn't have needed to do this because, of course, these arms were symmetrizing initially around the center. The important point, though, is that, of course, both of the arms, the pair, have been made children of this one singular structure that we had there, that single leg. However, when we add a pair to a paired item, something different happens. So I'm going to add another pair of arms, and I'm going to choose here the left knee. Just as a point of note, it doesn't matter whether I choose the left or the right knee. I'm adding a pair to a pair. And so whichever of the two I select, I get the same result. So there we go, a pair of arms parented to the left knee. And what we see we get here is, of course, symmetrization there. But let's look at it in rig mode. And we see that the left arm has become a child of the left leg, whilst the right arm has become a child of the right leg. So when you add a pair to a singular item, the pair become a children of that single item. When you add a pair to a paired item, then the pair will split between the original paired items. Of course, if you were not wanting that, if you were wanting a pair of arms to be children of this left side leg, then you could go into your scene editor and you could make the appropriate adjustment simply by manually parenting them off. So there, of course, we see I have the left arm two root item, which is indeed a child of the left knee. 
whilst the right arm two root item is a child of the right knee. I could of course change that, take that right arm two root item, come over to the left knee and parent it there. In this case, the pair of arms would now be children of that one side. The default behavior that you have here is the most common that you'll want when putting things together. So for instance, you go to add fingers to a hand. You want the left fingers added to the left hand, the right fingers added to the right hand. The bodybuilder will do that automatically. But if you were wanting something special done, then you could go through manual reparenting if desired. And of course, the same with the markers. Of course, when you are adding a single item, there is no pairing to take account of. Thus, if I add a single arm and I add it to, let's say, the right knee one, then of course I just have a singular arm structure here. And it makes no difference whether it was added to part of a pair of items or indeed a singular item because I have only added a single structure. The only other thing to note about symmetrization on pairs is the fact that you may, of course, have an asymmetrical character that you are trying to rig. And you can turn on and off marker symmetry via the marker sim button here. Simply select the marker or markers. So for instance here, I'm going to select the knee and ankle markers and click marker sim. Notice I did select the left hand side ones, but I could just as easily have selected the right. It would be exactly the same. And we'll notice that whilst the root here is still symmetrized, the knee and the ankle are not but all of the other markers in the leg system are. As such, working like this, you can add symmetrical paired structures, legs, arms, as you commonly will to the vast majority of characters. You can add singular parts to them when you desire. You can have pairs that branch off of pairs, single items that branch off of any item. You can reparent structures between one and the other to get the specialist setups that you may need and you can quickly and easily toggle marker symmetry if indeed you are rigging an asymmetrical character. Note also, of course, that if you're wanting to turn the marker symmetry back on, whereas I've had it turned off here, you can select the appropriate marker or markers again, hit marker sim, and it will re-symmetrize for you like that.